to Plum's backyard. And today, this is my video. Well, we went looking for calipulus and we found some. And I'm pretty excited. How many do you have? Well, oh, there's the big one. Yeah, that's a huge one. We got one, two, three, four. There's one there. Four. We have five. We just did a little walk up to the mailbox. Yeah. So now what? What are you going to do with them? I'm going to raise them. I love to raise caterpillars like monarchs because I love to see them like hatching or going into a crystal or just what the pupa or the chrysalis? Yeah. And I just like I just like caterpillars of the colors. Maybe this year we can show what they look like when you release them. Oh yes. I I actually release them like they like it's it's so amazing like just just see them fly off. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. So maybe you can show us what you do to find them so that other children know how to find them. Oh, yes. Okay. Want to okay. teach us? Sure. Okay, so where we found the big one was right here. And you can see all the droppings of it. And it was actually on a different leaf, but it was... So you noticed it because you found... The droppings on that leaf. You knew yes. where to look. So I kn I knew that there was be there'd be a caterpillar really close by. Okay, now we're gonna talk about the little baby caterpillars. Well, let's look. So you can see right here. There's there's little holes, and that's where I usually find the little babies. Well, if you just Kind of look carefully. You can, you can see them. But so I've are, actually, are, are they on the top of the leaves? Um, sometimes and sometimes not. Where do you find them? Well, usually I find them at the bottom. Well, I what I actually find is like little baby holes for the little tiny ones, and sometimes you can't really see them. And but usually I can see them a little. But can you show us what another plant is? Maybe we'll find a caterpillar on it. Oh, yeah. Let's look on this one right here. Okay, okay. so is that one you would look at then? Because um, there's some eating? Well, sometimes I would, but... There's another little hole. Here. Here? Hmm. Oh, yeah. <gasps> See? That's how you find... That's why, how I usually find them. You can see right there. So, wow. and sometimes you could just pluck it off and raise them. But what I usually do, is I either put them in like a, a container or in, I I have a fish tank, so I put them in there that way. They have. How many little, did you have last year? I think I had about thirty. And make sure you always remember um to pick food for them because sometimes they eat a lot like the big ones they eat a lot and you have to pick a lot for them and that's what i do for the big ones and the little ones i pick some well right now i am drying out the leaves because of the rain and because and also they could drown in it so i want to be careful of that and <laughs> you can See most of them. Yeah, and then right now I'm just. There's still a lot more leaves to dry up for me. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna put um, the caterpillars and the leaves in my fish tank. Let's go. Here's the 
the babies. Before I found these ones, I had, I had, th I have three in here. But now I'll have seven. Oh dear. One of on the table. Here you go. Seven. Seven in there. Um, we made a lid with hardware cloth and we put it put it on top. That way they won't get out because they need somewhere to breathe. And the amazing thing is where the caliper go goes up. And right here you can see a little probably a little white. I don't know. But um well, those are where the chrysalis hang. Oh, at the top. Yes, at the top. And that's where they start to go to the cocoon. And now, we wait. Does it get dirty? Yeah, I guess a, a lot of droppings in there. So, when do you clean it? Sometimes I, I clean it. Sometimes either for three days and then I do it for three days like to clean it out and sometimes every day when they get real big oh yeah mm -hmm. and this one I'm I'm pretty sure that this one will be going into a cocoon really soon when it eats a lot thank you for watching this video and please subscribe and link down below and make sure you call Comment down below if you like this video because I love caterpillars. And make sure you also look out for the other videos that might be coming out, like for the pupa and for them, for me releasing them. Thank you for watching at Plum's Backyard.